welcome to the over the hump day yes Ooh, over the hump day right this video is things I hate if you know me you know I'm opinionated and you know there's a lot of things I hate let's start I'm gonna start with a silly one which is me um, well today well one thing I hate when somebody says my hair looks like Jimmy Savile's Sam who does Tuesday yesterday I turned to me, I turned around, took my hair down inside and she goes, you look like Jimmy Savile. I went, great, and punched her in the arm. Yep, yeah, so that's the first thing I hate. Thanks, Sam. Not happy at all. Um, another thing I hate is, man I love mangoes, right, the inside of mangoes. But why, why are they in the stupid containers? Containers, skin, you know what I'm talking about. You have to cut a little hedgehog in, they can never eat it probably with like a spoon or anything. You have to like... It just fails. Like mangoes are not mangoes are my favourite fruit, but I can't eat them properly. I, last time I ate them, I got I ate some skin, and then my throat started like feel like it was closing. I thought I was going to die of mango poisoning. That would have been annoying because I love mangoes, and that would, I would have been like, no mango poisoning, you bitch. Mango poisoning. It's all good. <laughs> I'm not allergic. I don't think. Hopefully, I haven't had one since, so I must get another mango. But. Get, I can't cut them. Probably just get like already cut mango. Can do they do that? They probably do do that. I'm gonna go and find some in Tesco. Oh, yay. Um, another thing I hate, I think everyone hates this, is the price of Freddos. I thought I like 20p now. God, Freddos. Inflation. Everything's going up at the moment. Freddos are the worst thing ever. They used to be like 10p, and then they thought, ah, we'll just raise it to 12, and then just got ridiculous when they were 15 15 I thought oh Freddo's used to be like 10p used to be like yeah Freddo for the majority of my life they've been 15 so I was like mm, okay I can accept this I can accept the 15p Freddo and then 20p Tw 15 yeah I'm right I'm gonna buy a Freddo 20 uh, 20p is a bit far yeah all chocolate bars run up ridiculous I know but Freddos, they're like this much chocolate, but they're so nice. They're just the right proportion, though, because you sometimes don't want a full chocolate bar, but sometimes you just want a bit. So Freddos are the perfect option for 20p. Ridiculous. Right. Nothing hate. It's the dentist. It's just like, zzzz. I'm more scared than hated of them. They just, oh, oh, have you ever been? Well, obviously, you've probably been, but, oh, zzzz. It's the noise. I have to wear, if I ever have a fill-in, I have to have headphones and I have my headphones in on with music like full blast and they tries to talk to me and I'm like mm. he's like stop singing or something I don't sing I just sit there like and he's like stop moving I'm like oh hey and I had to have a tooth out like hmm when was it was it like, I don't know when it was but I had to have a tooth out and they tried to take out the dentist they gave me eight injections in my mouth I still won't let them take it out because it hurts still it was probably in my head that I could feel pain because they have to like probably tug and pull your mouth and it's really horrible and I don't like it. So yeah, so I had to go and have an operation and be put under sleep. Under sleep? Ah, by Darren Brown. No, I just got an aesthetic. Yeah, so that's my dentist hatred, right? Another thing that I hate, self-service machines. Or when I like them, I think they're a good idea, until they break and they're like, unscheduled item in the bagging area. No, I just scan the item and put it in the bag. What is the problem? Actual problem? None. Then the staff come over and I'm like, okay. And scan the card and type in a code and then like, carry on. And then two items later it's like, unexpected item in the baggage area. That's not how they speak, but they should. I'm gonna stop. Okay, um, when people say it's always the last place, it's always in the last place you look. Obviously, if you find the thing you're looking for, you're not gonna carry on looking, are you? You're not gonna go, Oh, I'm looking for my purse. Found my purse. Let's carry on looking. Pants purse. Um, we're not going to carry on looking, so it's obviously going to be the last place we look because we're not going to look when we found it. Oh, God. People who put their bags on seats, like on buses or trains, right? Your seat's not a person unless you kidnap somebody in it, which would be very bad. Never do that. Imagine if someone had a massive bag that's like, Bleh! That's what knows a person would be kept in a bag. And then you're like, excuse me, can you move your bag? No, it's a person. And you're like, run away. But my sister um, told me the other day that on trains, 
if somebody's got a bag, she'll go and try and sit next to them. And she always like thinks in her head, oh, is your bag paid for this seat? I think not. You can pay an extra fare for your bag to have this seat, but I have paid, so this is my seat officially. Ah! Right, I'm gonna go before I get even more frustrated. Ah, frustration. Frustration. Oh, oh, frustration. Oh, oh, it's just the way we feel. And they've been frustration. Goodbye. See you next day for the hump day, where it's another topic where I most likely will get annoyed, as always.